We also do run a premium product or experience called Tasmanian Seafood Seduction. This is a full day coastal cruise harvesting and feasting on fresh seafood from Hobart. So this is a wonderful um, experience to do when you've got a full day and you're wanting to taste the freshest seafood you can possibly taste. Our guides dive for black lip abalone and sea urchin. We have rock lobster, oysters, mussels, salmon, beautiful wines, cheeses, um, and just make it a beautiful degustation experience all day, but in the calm waterways of northern Bruni Island. So this is a very special experience, maximum of 12 people on a boat. Um, so really lovely, intimate, um, premium experience. We do also run a two and a half hour cruise out of Hobart. Um, the seafood seduction is from Hobart, but our Iron Pot cruise operates daily and cruises the River Derwent, which is our main waterway in Hobart. And we cruise out to Australia's oldest lighthouse and take in uh, the amazing coastline there. So that's wonderful when people don't have much time to either get out to the regions to do the wilderness cruise, but do have some time to do something in Hobart. So uh, what it works really well around is if you're flying in maybe in the mornings and you want to do something in the afternoon, right. or you might want to do the Salamanca Market, which uh, you might have heard of, but that's obviously a key attraction on a Saturday morning. And so you can go to the market in the morning and then do the cruise in the afternoon. So it just means you can fill your day um, by with you want to do a couple of things. So that works right. really well. Our Bruni Island Traveller is another experience on Bruni Island, but that's our only land-based experience. So that is about uh, exploring the artisan producers of Bruni Island as well as the natural environment. So if someone maybe has already done a cruise at Port Arthur, but they want to explore Bruni Island, they work really well together. So you could do a land-based one, tasting the produce, doing some lovely walks and seeing the amazing scenery, and you do a cruise, say, at Port Arthur or in Hobart. Vegetarians are well looked after. Um, for vegan, that's, uh, it's a little bit harder with a lot of the tastings, um, potentially like there's chocolate and honey. We also, as I said, lastly, have our Wine Glass Bay cruise, which is a four and a half hour cruise of the Fraser National Park from Coles Bay. So you may have heard of Wine Glass Bay. It's often voted one of the best beaches in the world. Um, so this cruise is about taking in the amazing granite coastline and lunching at Wine Glass Bay on the water, um, but having lunch in the bay. So that's a, a wonderful way to explore the east coast of Tasmania. A lot of people and who are going to Tasmania and those who have time they surely want to go to Wine Glass Bay. So what is so um, unusual about Wine Glass Bay in your sure. practical understanding? You know, it's spectacular white sand um, and it, it all dotted along that granite coastline is this amazing white sandy beaches and pristine environment. So um, it really is just quite special to have this amazing, you know, granite rocks and mountains surrounding you and then this, this white this white sand um, uh, and between your toes and beautiful blue waters that are just cascading onto the onto the beach. It's a little bit different than our Bruni Island Tasman Island cruises. The boat's quite different. And you asked me what was so lovely about wine glass, and you can see here it's pretty beautiful in terms of the yeah. the crystal clear waters, the amazing granite mountains and ranges there, and landscape, and um, not a lot of people. Um, our boat that we use for this cruise is actually a 150-seat catamaran. And it has two levels. You can see yeah. pretty much there that it has two levels. It's the longer cruise. It's four and a half hours. Um, and we do include lunch on the boat as part of this experience. So it's a quite sort of different uh, cruise to those others where operating in the three-hour cruises, it's all about the cruise and interpretation and then come back and, and eat lunch, et cetera. So uh, this one leaves Coles Bay and we travel sort of Great Oyster Bay and come through um, past Shooton Passage and, and on our way to Wineglass, which obviously many people want to get to. And the only way you can get to Wineglass Bay if you don't have a boat is to do the bushwalk. So for many people, this may not be accessible for them. Right. And so this is a wonderful way to get to Wineglass. Um, we have two, as I said, two different lounge areas. Our Sky Lounge is adults only. It only takes 26 guests. That's upstairs. It's 
direct got direct access to the captain's bridge so you can have a chat to him and that includes everything so your morning tea your lunch plus all beverages which features local wines and beers and ciders and barista coffee etc and that the lunch includes beautiful freshly shucked oysters smoked salmon cold and hot beautiful smoked meat salads cheeses and um, local breads so it's a really tasty lunch and you've got a lovely intimate environment downstairs we do a boxed plowman style lunch so it's a similar but much lighter style and um, that is we can take over 100 downstairs so um, a more accessible um, deck we do have accessible bathrooms there as well which is great so this cruise certainly works well if someone has mobility um, issues because we've got that accessible on on board I should say in all the other cruises we have a toilet as well uh, on board the boat so this is just some of the um, amazing imagery that you might see on our Wine Glass Bay cruise. So you can see we have front and rear deck for our lower lounge and you can see the front deck there. Um, certainly we get prolific whale sightings in migration season, which is September through to December. We also okay. see whales often in May and June. And that's the same for Tasman Island cruises and Bruni Island cruises. But we often see, see seals and dolphins and seabirds. So it's, um, there's lots of lovely coastal wildlife. In terms of um, wildlife, the Tasman Island cruise is probably the most uh, prolific because it's right near the continental shelf. So that location, we get you know, lots of wildlife. But we do see coastal wildlife is a key part of all, all the experiences that we offer here. So the goal is generally to have about an hour at anchor at Wine Glass Bay where you can sit back and have your lunch and just relax. So it is that more leisurely experience, but it is still a coastal wilderness cruise. So it still is in a rugged and remote environment. So this so, is good for people who are staying in the uh, Fresene Bay or um, maybe Coles Bay area. And is it like uh, they need to come to the starting point or they can be picked up? So we have two areas that we pick up. So the starting point uh, is Coles Bay, and that's an easy walk for anyone staying in Coles Bay. You know, Coles Bay is a really easy village to get around. But if you are staying at Freysenay Lodge, which many people uh, are when they go to Coles Bay, we do do a Freysenay Lodge pickup and return at their jetty. It's, and it's, it's two hours from Launceston and about just over two and a half hours from Hobart. Okay, that's, that's really mm. nice. Uh, I mean, people can even do a little longer itinerary in Tasmania and mm -hmm. they can visit the Hobart and maybe Fresman Island or the Brunei Islands. And from there, they can go to Fresene. Then they can see this and probably they can then go out from Launceston instead Absolutely. of driving back to Hobart. Yeah, which I always think is a great option to do a Hobart Launceston. Um, I mean, we're very lucky at how close our regions are and at how different they are. So it is really very different uh, from, you know, what uh, the rest of the country offers. So it can definitely be an addition, whatever they are doing in the rest of the country. This part is offering a very different experience. And you as a company is offering a very amazing experience to explore the wilderness and the nature of the region. Thanks for joining in virtually and meeting me and explaining me about uh, these amazing uh, experiences, which I mean, I'm, I'm sure that people would love to uh, do. Thank you, Shrey. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>